I'm pissed. I was screen recording and I realized it wasn't. So that means I have to film this video again, but that's okay because I, I, I really wanted to make a video regardless of whether or not I have. Oh my God, whatever. I'll just make a video, okay? So anyways, hi, you saw the title. I'm basically going to be telling you how you can number your lines in Google Docs. Now I know um, there are plugins out there that can do this for you, but this method that I'm about to teach you, there was no plugin required whatsoever, no plugins, no extensions, whatever. Everything you need is in Google Docs. So go ahead and go to Drive and open up a Google Doc and we're gonna get started from there. Now, first of all, let's talk about what you might need to number your lines for. So numbering your lines is really helpful for when you wanna print out an extract and you wanna make sure that when you're refer referencing certain lines and certain quotes, you know where to find these quotes. And so, yeah, I'm gonna do something like, oh, I'm gonna do to kill a mockingbird and i'm gonna go in the second link okay so when my brother jim blah 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 let's go until this from when to though and now i'm going to paste it into my document so now i'm just going to polish this up okay so i'm done separating these paragraphs and now here comes the secret you go to insert go to table and you go two by two and so the trick is you want to make sure that the width of this table is the same as the width of the text here. You want to trick the viewer into thinking that the text is not in a table and it's just normal like this. You're going to place the numbers onto the side like this. So stretch this out by clicking on the line and dragging it. And so for the middle bar, you're going to place it here. And for the left bar, you're going to stretch it to here. And so copy this in. So as you can see here, there are four lines. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to name this as my first line. I don't think I need to lay, label every line because I don't think that's needed. I think I'm just going to number every five lines. So here's my first line, when my brother Jam blah, blah, blah. And now this is my fifth line. And so I'm going to copy this, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So copy this, command X actually. Okay, well, we have a problem. Let's stretch this out so that it remains in four lines. Yeah, I think that's it. So now that I checked that the width of this text and this text is all same. I'm going to continue on and press tab to open a new row. And this is the 10th line, so I'm going to put this on. Cut, and then I'm going to insert a new paragraph over here. So this is the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, And then 11, 12, 11, 12, 13, 14. So over here, there are a total of 14 lines and you can see that they're all numbered. So this num line number one corresponds to this. Line number five is this. Line number 10 is my father, blah, blah, blah. Line 11 is this. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh no, sorry, this is 15. Okay, that's why I was so confused. As you can see now, everything is really clear you can clearly tell that this is the first line this is the fifth line this is the tenth and etc but what if you wanted to make things look a little nicer so you what if you wanted to actually trick your reader or your viewer into thinking that this is not in a table and that it's simply normal text and you're just adding numbers on the left well what you can do is select the table only here click and drag and just go to the last row and you can go to back you can go to <laughs> border width and for border width, just click zero points. And you can see the border has disappeared because it's basically zero, so that's nothing. And I think I would suggest you to kind of make all of these bold so that it stands out a bit more. So as you can see here, it's still line number one over here, line number five over here, line number 10 over here, line number 15 over here. I would say the only downside is that this can be a bit confusing, like my father, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I didn't exactly explain why it's 
confusing. Basically, the tenth line is actually with the previous line five to line nine paragraph. And it just so happens that it starts at the next line. And that's why it can be mistaken as a new paragraph, whereas it's not. So that's why it's confusing and that's a downside, I guess. That is a bit confusing, but I think for me it works. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial because it's actually super easy and I hope this helps out anyone who would like to number lines in an extract. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I know that this is a really unusual video. I never post tutorials. I never post anything like this at all. The only time I'm recording the screen and filming myself is when I'm playing something like if I'm doing a BuzzFeed quiz or if I'm playing Papa's Pizzeria or if I'm playing Among Us with my friends or something like that. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it and you want to stick around for my personality, then just basically give this video a like so I know that, you know, I can pump out more videos for you guys. And I also really enjoy making videos, so it's like, you can make a deal. And you can also subscribe down below. This really helps me and reinforces the idea that I should become a YouTuber and drop out of high school. I'm kidding. Um, I'm not going to drop out of high school. So yeah, anyways, that's basically it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and that this helped you in some way. If not, I'm sorry I wasn't able to help you. And I hope you get the help you need. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. Bye! <laughs>